Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be talking about the project which I have created on my website that is built end-to-end -end Azure Data Engineering project. So this course is for those guys who knows about the Azure Data Engineering, having a knowledge of Azure Data Factory, Python, SQL, Databricks, but they do not know how to integrate all these services into a one place and how they how to create a end-to-end -end project using a azure services okay so you can see total 843 members or students have been enrolled in this course okay and this course was created by me okay and the language is in english language and this all about the you know about the course okay and this is the course curriculum so you can see total 16 modules are available 56 sessions and 14 hours of content is available for this complete project so this is not a short project i, I can see a mini kind of project people create a covid 19 project or some other type of project right they create a things or upload on you know udemy or you know youtube that is not this see i haven't cut any of this video okay i haven't cut any of the single uh, single topic on in in this course so if you are someone who want to seriously you know who want to seriously learn about the data engineering project then please check out this course check out the content check out this first video uh, where i shown about the introduction and architecture and the requirements right and you can see here we i have explained you about, about everything key you know what is azure resources how to create them you do not need to go here and there and uh, see key how i should set up a azure data breaks how i should set up a, a azure data factory data lake and blah 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 right so you can see everything is available over here okay every single thing so i have explained what is spn i have explained what is sql databases i have explained what is data bricks logic app automation runbook and so 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 now this is data preparation uploading the you know uh, data i have given you about uh, I have given the data files also so you have to just download all these files right and all I also shown you how you can import these files you know how you can set up your source systems then ingest data from multiple sources cleaning the process and how you can you know build a data quality checks create dimension and fact table publish the data into SQL databases set up complete ADF pipeline send data files to end user users using logic app run automation script using azure automation account introduce data quality check layer between mart and publish layer in databricks how you can ideally check what is the data you know whether the data has been published successfully with the correct data or not like that and cicd deployment using azure devops and github action then handle corner cases in ADF and build report and dashboard using Power BI. And then here you can find out all the codes, whatever I have used. Now, just quickly, I will tell you what things I have used and what is the architecture of this project. So ideally, what I had done is that I have, you know, sourced the data from REST API, from Gen2, from SQL databases okay and and from blob in gen2 we have csv files zip files and then we also have some parquet files also in rest api we are pulling up files i mean the data in the form of json and then we have sql database which is i mean uh, you know uh, we are pulling the data into the form of parquet and then blob we have csv or txt you know now what we are doing in this project we are making here three layers you know basically we call it as you know bronze layer bronze layer then you know bronze silver and what we have another one is gold layer so you can also you can also call it raw layer you know raw layer cleans layer and then you know uh, publish layer something like that you can say or you can also have one staging layer raw layer and then also you can have you know 
uh, here in between a uh, LOB layer. So ideally in this project, what I have done, I created here four layers. One is raw layer. Then after that, we have clients layer. Okay, and then we have LOB layer. We can also call it mart layer. And then we have publish layer. So what does it mean that? Whatever the data which we are receiving receiving from REST API, Gen2, SQL databases, blob storage, we are putting into this raw layer. Into this raw layer. Okay. And then, then all the raw files are present over in the raw layer. Then after that, you know, sometimes we receive uh we receive that you know the the dates are not in the correct format or maybe the ids are in integer not in string i mean that is in a string not an integer there are you know uh, many junk values present over the this raw data so all these things we have cleaned cleansed and put it into our clients layer okay and then you know based on some business logic whatever the business we we have to create some fact tables dimension table and other stuff right those things we have used in this a lobby layer or we can say a mart layer after that once the data is ready for uh, for the reporting purpose we publish those data into this publish layer okay so basically we are having four type of layers in between so if you want you can you can eliminate this lob layer or you can eliminate this publish layer it's totally depend on you or the architecture i follow this architecture okay now between this raw layer and the cleanse layer sometimes we have to check the data quality you know we have to do a data quality check so i have implemented those things also in between the cleanse and lob layer or we can say in between the lob and publish layer you have to do a data quality check whether the whether the whether the uh, fact table or you know dimension table have been created having have been created in a correct way or not okay so all these things you know i have all these you know uh, so uh, for, for the ingestion part for the ingestion part i have used adf you might have you might know about the adf for the processing part right processing part i have used here data bricks I have used Delta Lake. I have used PySpark. I have used Python. And I have used here SQL also in some of the places. Also in Databricks, I have used Auto Loader. So if you do not know Auto Loader, I would say he just go and learn about the basic of Auto Loader. Then to dump the data, to dump the data, I have used ADF only. To dump the data into a publish layer i have used adf okay after that i have used logic app also logic app also why i have used here logic app to distribute distribute data files so i have you know in in this layer lob layer or publish layer you know i have created some let's say some dimension some fact table so all these data uh, you know uh, all this data should be should be sent to my stakeholder holders my you know POs and all other big people right across the organization so I use their logic app to to do the to to distribute the data files in the form of CSV or Excel and then I have used here you know uh, run book so I have used their power PowerShell you know powershell scripts to automate my vms to automate my sql data warehouses vms and then i have used here power bi to for the reporting purpose for the report reporting for the reporting purpose after that i have used here ci cd process so i have used azure devops and i have used their github github action also so I have used these both the things to deploy the Azure Data Factory and to deploy the Databricks Notebook. So if I just, you know, uh, say you that I have used ADF, I have used Logic App, I have used Autoloader, Databricks, I have used again ADF, then Runbook, Power BI. So I have just used everything in this project, right? So you do not need to go here, there, here, there. And, you know, definitely if you just focus on this one project, you will definitely get a job this is my my 
गारंटीड ओके जस्ट द थिंग इज दैट यू शुड नो ऑल दीज थिंग्स एस आ पे रिक्वेस्ट ओके लाइक यू नो इफ यू डू नॉट नो एडीएफ एंड यू जम्प इनटू दिस कोर्स यू विल नॉट लर्न एनीथिंग सो बेसिकली फर्स्ट यू लर्न एडीएफ फर्स्ट यू लर्न डेटाबेस एंड देन यू जस्ट यू नो फॉलो दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड डू नॉट मग अप द प्रोजेक्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इट ओवर हियर राइट डूड एंड देन यू कैन राइट डाउन दिस स्टोरीज इन योर प्रोजेक्ट इन योर नॉट प्रोजेक्ट इन योर रेज्यूमे एंड देन एक्सप्लेन ऑल दिस स्टेप्स इन योर प्रोजेक्ट in your project and in your resume on also uh, maybe in your interview okay so it's depend on you how you are taking this course if you are taking this course please complete the course give me the feedback ki hey sagar this is the feedback i want to give you whether you have liked it or not see i am 90% sure that you will love it so because you can see over here that you know 843 members have been have been taking this course and you know me that you know i am not doing any promotion over there you know so you know that i am making this course very useful and definitely if you are someone who want to learn something please take this course because i know you know in udemy there are multiple courses available but you know you will not gonna show here hey i have used covid 19 data set i'll just pull the data from api and you know do some manipulation and save the data that is not a project that is not a real time kind of project so its choice is yours if you want you can just check out this course i'll just give the link in the description boxes there are multiple courses also like as your data factory course data bix course python course data bix interview question logic app and many thing All right so if you are willing to learn just go ahead and learn it and definitely you will get a job chalo thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next next lecture